Hello everyone, this is Susan with Three Sisters Sundries. I have a little journal share today. This is a journal that I made from a Reader's Digest Pearl Buck uh, compilation. I always loved Pearl Buck as a teenager and read a lot of these books. I made the closure out of this frog. It reminded me of Chinese clothes and the book has three signatures. So let's open it up and check it out. I used uh, a die cuts with a view Asian paper stack. So a lot of these things are from the stack. This card, however, is from the packaging for this tassel. And I just cut the Chinese um, portion of the of the packaging off and put it in here as a little tuck. This little fan is from the paper pad. I made some little, hopefully reminiscent of cherry blossoms, little flowers here. This is a an applique. It looks pretty schnazzy, probably for a wedding dress. And I got a whole bunch of what is known as Joss paper from a Vietnamese import store. So there's a lot of that all through here. It's for celebrating the new year. This is the cover of a paper pad. And put this little tag in here. This little guy is from a Shogun board game. And there are a couple pieces from the game through here. I love these little stickers. They're Japanese. I got them at a scrapbook expo from Alton Crafts. The owner is, I believe, Japanese, and he just had a few little Japanese packages of things, and these stickers were one of those. This fish is actually from the dust cover of the book. I loved it so much, but I didn't like the rest of the cover, so I just cut out the fish and Mod Podged him here. Another Joss paper. Japanese dictionary. This is a money envelope, but inside I have put this fantastic little piece. It is a little Japanese paper doll, and it's never been used. It's from the 50s. You stand it up and open up her little umbrella. Not totally positive um, what it's for, but it looks to me like a placeholder for a dinner party, maybe. So... This is a, I was just about to put the um, text block from the book in the recycling and I just did a quick fan through it and realized it was full of gorgeous illustrations. So this is one of those from the Pavilion of Women. And this is another little piece of that paper. These illustrations are from a calendar the calendar pages were way too big to use, but on the back they have those, you know, just the little pictures of all of the calendar pages, so I used a bunch of those. They're just absolutely gorgeous. This is another card from the Shogun game. And this is a little Korean fan bookmark. I love this beautiful tiny little knot. And this is the from the package of the Japanese stickers. That's his back. This is Pearl Buck herself from the dust jacket. Just a little flip up. And then that is just a little flip out. This is a little tuck spot with a couple of papers. I made this cute little tassel, put it on this paper clip. Here's another envelope. It flips up and then inside there's some more pretend money. Here's just a little tuck spot. These cutouts are from the paper pad. An airmail envelope. This page is from a 19... Oh gosh, 1927 I think geography book. And depicts some rice patties and silkworm farming. 
It was kind of hard to find a non-insulting page from that book. It was pretty interesting in a bad way. I love these little fishy envelopes. And this is the front of a box from Rice Candy. And on this paper clip, I just put a little charm in the colors that match the book. This pocket has money and a little tag. This pretty lace reminded me of Indian designs. Cat hair. There's a little elephant button that I colored gold. More of that Joss paper. Another card from the Shogun game. This octopus paper is a cake circle. I found those at a thrift store. They're just so cool. And this is one of G. Kerr's little leaf clips with a little bead on it. And on the back side, it has more of the papers. They can be tucked under the leaf. Did a little bit of stamping. I didn't have too many appropriate stamps, but this one reminded me again of Indian design. These are super cool vintage postcards from the 50s. Um, depicting, I believe they are all of Hong Kong, but they might also include some places, other places in China. This is a map from that same geography book. It's really interesting because all of the countries are different now. Well, a lot of them are different now. So it was really interesting to put that in, I thought. More little stickers and another postcard. And this little set of envelopes flips out and contains money and a little uh, journaling spot. Oopsie. All right. I love this little dangle using the lucky cat bead. And this is a building in India. A little postcard. More little papers. This pocket has some more paper and this bookmark with this beautiful tassel. I had to include it somewhere, so I put it on a bookmark. And that's the back. Here's another stamp from that same set, another tag, and some money. I made one little gold flower here. This is the clip that's holding the red tassel on the back so it can be removed if needed. Some more writing space. This is from a little book about cats. Since I don't read, I believe, Japanese, I'm not sure what the story is about, but it has these adorable cats. Some more dictionary paper. This is more Joss paper. And this is a coffee, those, those things you put around coffee cups to keep your hands from getting burned, but I thought it looked very kind of Japanese-esque, this little design. Did a couple of tags in there, so it's a double pocket. This is another tiny fish from the spine of the dust jacket. Here are some more postcards from the 50s. And this is another one of the calendar images. And there's a little fabric flip up. Here's a little card. I made a whole bunch of the little cherry blossoms and put them on this card. This charm I thought the green was sort of reminiscent of jade. And then this just flips up. More Japanese dictionary paper. This is actually really nice typing paper. And the other side of that book page. And then I did three tags for this pocket. 
out of a coordinating paper set. And then this last clip has a little bead, and then this is a piece from the game. And then there is the back with some pretty gold braid. That's that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journal, please give us a thumbs up, and we will see you again.